In this video, we're going to go over the numerous ways to zoom in and out of your audio clips in Pro Tools. First, let's look at the cluster of zooming tools in the top left-hand corner of Pro Tools. On the left and right of this box, you have two arrows. If you left-click on those arrows, you can zoom in and zoom out of the audio clip. If you click and hold in either one of these arrows and drag left or right, you can also zoom in or out of the audio file. You can also click on these buttons one, two, three, four, and five. These are fixed zoom ratios that also happen to correspond with the numerical keys going across the top of your keyboard. So if I type in one, two, three, four, or five, these will also zoom into and out of the audio clip. On the bottom right hand corner of your edit window, you'll see a plus and minus sign. We can click on this to zoom into or out of your waveform. If you're using a mouse with a vertical scroll wheel, you can hold option and just push the wheel forward or back to zoom into and out of an audio clip. This is my personal preferred way of zooming in and out of a clip. I prefer using a mouse over the trackpad on the laptop. If you are using a trackpad on the laptop, you can hold Option plus Command and then use two fingers to push up or down and you can zoom in or out of the timeline like that. If you'd like to only use your keyboard, you can also use your R and T keys. If you tap T, you'll zoom in and if you tap R, you'll zoom out. There are a ton of ways to zoom in and out of your waveform in Pro Tools. It's integral that you find one that you like. You don't have to remember them all, but you should find one that you like to use because you'll have to use it often. I'd like to point out that all of the horizontal zooming in Pro Tools focuses in specifically on where the playhead is at. So if I place my playhead in this region and then zoom in, I'll zoom in specifically to that spot. If I place my playhead somewhere over here and zoom in, it will focus in on that spot. If my playhead is somewhere in the timeline and not on an audio clip, I'll simply zoom in to nothing. So there's a strong relationship between the playhead and zooming. Now all of this has been zooming in and out horizontally. You can also zoom vertically. In the cluster of zooming tools on the top left hand corner, there's a picture of a waveform right here. If we left click and hold and drag up and down, we can zoom vertically into and out of the waveform. Sometimes you'll need to do this to edit the finer details of the sound. You can also zoom in and out vertically with your keyboard by holding Option, Command, and typing either the right bracket to zoom in or the left bracket to zoom out. Zooming in vertically does not change how loud the sound is or how quiet the sound is. This particular viewing method has no bearing on that. If you'd like to reset your vertical zoom to see the natural size of your waveform, just do the keyboard shortcut, Control, Option, Command, and Left Bracket. This resets the vertical size of your waveform. Some common zooming mistakes are zooming way too far out and not being able to see your waveform at all. Sometimes people will do this and feel like they've lost their waveform or there isn't any audio in their project, when in reality it's there. We're just zoomed so far out we can't possibly see it. If something like this happens to you, just hit return on your keyboard to place your playhead all the way to the beginning of the project and start to gradually zoom back in. You'll see that your audio is somewhere in your project. Another common mistake is the exact opposite, where people zoom in really, really far, then all of a sudden they can't see to work with anything, and if I hit play, uh, morally, intellectually, intellectually. the waveform is zooming by so fast I can't possibly hope to work with it. If this is the case, just gradually zoom out until you can see your clip. When you're editing, you're frequently going to be zooming out to place your clips in time on the timeline in relationship to other audio that you're editing. When you're editing the specific clips, you'll be zooming into them to make critical choices on the waveform. 
So as you're getting comfortable with the interface, you should find a way to zoom in and out comfortably and repeatedly, because you'll be doing this with every single edit with every single project. And that's how you zoom in Pro Tools.